Hey, what's going on guys? This video is going to be quick and dirty with handheld phone style. Um, I went to my LCS this afternoon. He isn't technically open, but I've given him a lot of money over the last couple of years. So I called him up and he agreed to meet me at the shop and I was able to pick up some things. Um, so I spent $500. Keep in mind that's cash, no tax, you know, shipping, just um, straight cash for the cards, $500. Um, so tell me how you think I did. I think I did okay. I didn't, um, I don't think I got ripped off, and I, but I certainly didn't steal these cards away from them. We'll start down here. 59 Fleer Ted Williams, Ted's Idol Babe Ruth, graded a 2. But it looks more like a four or five. You're not going to be able to see, but there's a couple of creases in the lower left. And then what really killed it on the back, um, there's a crease going um, across the, the narrow width all the way across. But it wasn't very expensive, which is why I took it home with me. Again, not a very expensive card. This 96 Skybox Z Force Kobe Rookie near Mint to Mint 8. <clears throat> I just thought it was a really attractive card and it didn't cost me very much. So now we're getting into the meat of the deal. He had a complete set of 94 Finest Basketball Series 2. These are basically the commons. I pulled out all the notable names and put them into card savers. Um, here are a couple of key rookies of Grant Hill and Jason Kidd. And of course you got the Jordan. The Jordan looks to be pretty good. Um, it appears at first glance to be mint, but then the back corner over here is got some white. The corner is kind of white. So I don't know. I think a mint nine probably is best case scenario for this card, but still a really cool card. Um, so the 94 finest is kind of what I fear I might have overpaid for. It kind of depends on how you break everything down. And then the, the lion's share of that 500 bucks went towards this Mickey Mantle, SGC5. The back's in really good shape. I think one of the corners is a little bit dog-eared. Centering is respectable, I suppose. But um, it's got really nice corners, especially that bottom right one. A couple of the corners appear to be near mint. This one up here in the top left is the worst looking one. It's got um, more advanced wear. But overall, a nice looking um, 65 mantle. So let me know in the, down in the comments how you think I did on this deal. $500. Was it worth it? Um, I think I did okay. The way I tried to break it down was the mana was a $300 card. Um, I got another, you know, maybe $40 and $25. So we're talking $365, which means I paid $135 for the Series 2 Finest, which... I was a little concerned about, but recent sales, you know, a month or, or maybe a couple months ago, back in February and March, you could get this for 60 or $70, but it's since doubled in price. People are paying about 130 and, you know, I paid 135 So either way, you know, they're cool cards. Um, I plan on maybe getting them all graded by SGC. I don't know. But certainly the Jordan, um, I don't plan on really holding on to them. I think I'd like to grade them and flip them. Um, if there's a profit to be made, we'll see. So 
I think I got fair value for the 500 um, and it was just a lot of fun going to my LCS because I've been spending a lot of time at home like I'm sure a lot of you have. So I'm glad I got to go out and do some card hunting and buying. I hope you enjoyed uh, checking out these cards and I'll check you all later.